we have Ricky uh, with us now. Um, he goes, uh, what is your, your Instagram? I, I'm just, it's a little Ricky. Little Ricky. You okay. can call me Sheep. Sheep. <laughs> I used to tell people So, So what do you go by when, when people ask you, what's your artist name? I, I, little Ricky. Little Ricky. That, like, that's what I know you by. Yeah, but you have a shirt on. You have a shirt on. A very cool shirt, mind you. That says Sheep. Yeah. I used to introduce myself for a while, like, as Sheep, not even Ricky, nothing, just Sheep. And people were like, Sheep? <laughs> Where did that come from? Um, just from the series of how it came to be. From It was inspired by Alexander McQueen, and he referred to himself as a pink sheep. A pink sheep. Yeah. Changed my life. Do you, um, why did he call himself the pink sheep? Well, he was making a reference to him being gay, I assume. Uh-huh. And even though I knew the coin, I knew the term pink sheep meant he was gay. So he was making a uh, difference from him not being a black sheep but being a pink sheep. So that idea of being different from what was already different was very cool. Was magic to my brain. So teach, you're sponsored by Black Sheep Clothing, right? Yeah. And then uh, uh, and I've seen something <laughs> like that. Yeah. And then and then <laughs> you got sheep in your life. And this is kind of the same thing, but <laughs> you got sheep um, in your life in a very very cool way, though. Um, you have uh, man, you have done so much. With just the uh, the image and uh, and different connotations with it, and um, I also see the uh, you use the the E W E. Yeah, the U. 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 Yeah. U. Uh, a, a coworker at some point said something. He would he kind of had like Tourette's in some weird way, and he would always say, "U is a female sheep." Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I never yeah. knew that. And when he said that, I just was like, oh, now I could play oh, around yeah. with the word you because you applies to you, you, like anything. Yeah, so absolutely. anything becomes you. I like that. I like that. And but it was just funny. You is a female sheep anyway. Because actually a sheep kind of is, um, I've learned that it's a form of me playing with dolls and I get to drag them up pretty much. So kind of funny that it's a female Explain sheep. Explain that a little bit more. Yeah, that it's, um, I think it, I think for my previous series, I had a series called Little Girls. Okay. And I did that for 12 years. It was just fine art, small art. And that was my way of playing with dolls. You know, I got to paint them. Okay. And when I started Sheep, you know, I was just creating all these characters. And not until like two years ago, I started realizing that it was the same thing. I'm still playing with a form of dolls in some way because it's one, sh- when one character. St- it's one shape. And I just put hair on it. Glasses, right, right. dresses, whatever I want on it. So it's the same character just dragged up all the time. So, When did you start putting it up in the streets? Um, or when did you start getting up in the streets, period? With, when that started, when she came, when it came to mind, I didn't, um, I didn't so know what didn't, it was. you didn't put little girls up in the streets? No, no, not at all. Okay. No, so when she came to mind, I was... Um, I didn't know what I was going to do with it. It was just an idea of pink sheep. I didn't know if it was going to be characters. I didn't know if it was going to be um, anything other than I just had an idea. And uh, I started putting Hello, My Name is Sheep stickers as a way to introduce myself okay. onto the street because I didn't know anything about the street. Sure. So just Hello, My Name is Sheep. And I thought it was kind of funny, too, that the idea of everybody could wear that same label. Yeah. Hello, My Name is Sheep. Um, well, 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 let's 